Hi guys, it's Lucy and welcome back to another video. Uh, unlike other students, I am already back at university. So I thought before students all go back, before they all get their student loans, I would make a video on how to manage your student loan. And you might not need all the tips from this video, but just taking one or two tips away can really help manage the money you get from student finance if you get that money. Uh, this will be hopefully helpful to those just starting out at uni, um, possibly a couple of second and third years, but this is mainly aimed at first years, going into university and they don't know how to control their money, um, which I most certainly didn't. So yeah, let's get straight on with the video. So the number one rule is that you need to be so strict with your money. A lot of students, as soon as they get the student finance through, they go and book holidays, they go and book concerts, they go and basically spend all their money at once and you aren't going to survive at uni doing that for very long. Um, you just need to be so, so strict and it can be really horrible at times that you've been so strict with yourself but you've just got to stick with it. So, kind of number two kind of links in with number one. When you get your money work out how much you can spend weekly and I think I've mentioned this in a video before but by working out what you can spend weekly you kind of become strict with yourself in the sense that you don't want to go over that budget. Say you're on £40 a week and you go over to £50 that then means the next week you can only spend £30 you take the money out of your next week and as long as you're only doing that occasionally if you're doing it every single week it kind of tails out to the point where you'll probably only have a couple of quid at the last week or whatever um, it works, it's all works for me and yeah, it really helps with budget. Third thing is pay your accommodation as soon as you can and I'm aware not all students stay in accommodation but if you do, pay it as soon as you can and um, that gets the money out of your account, you're not going to accidentally spend it and you know you're up to date with your accommodation payments. It means you're not going to come into any trouble halfway through the year where they're chasing you up for money that you don't have. The fourth thing is if you are in accommodation and you have to do your laundry and it is cash, I'm not sure if all unis are cash, I don't know if some are cut, I don't know how it works at all unis, but mine is um, cash, it's £2.70 for wash, £1.50 for dry and it has to be exact change. So as soon as you get your student loan, take some money out of your bank, get some change from it and keep that specifically for laundry. That means you're not going to have no money to wash your clothes. Obviously the better alternative is to take your washing home and get your parents <laughs> to fork out the money to wash your clothes. But if you want to be a responsible adult, get the money out for the laundry while you have it. Number five, I think. Um, do a massive shop at the start when you get your loan. This means bulk buy things, stock up on everything, just do a massive shop, which I have already done. Um, I did a shop, it's going to last me maybe two, three weeks, but then I've also bought toiletries, toilet roll, stuff like that, that will last a month or so. Um, and the shop only came to about £40. So by doing a massive shop, you are also saving money. And you will also have stuff in. So I've stocked up on pasta and pasta sauces. I'm not gonna have pasta and pasta sauces every single day, but then I've got something in the cupboard when I'm struggling a bit and I need a meal, quick and easy and cheap. The next thing, and it won't work for everyone, it did work for me to, to a certain extent, but I don't do it as much now, is withdraw all the money for your week. And you can do this for multiple weeks or you can do it just for one week. I used to do it for maybe two weeks. So take the money out of the bank account that you are allowing yourself per week and it stops you from overspending especially if you've got contactless which I don't but people with contactless you kind of just find just tap the card and they don't really realize they're paying for stuff in a way so if you've got the cash physical in your hand you know what you've got and what you're spending so yeah and that also means if you haven't got your laundry money out you will also get change from that for the laundry and that's how I found it helped the final thing and this isn't necessarily something if you're really struggling, um, you can do it all the way through the year, but it does definitely help when you are struggling with your money. Um, shop right before the shops are closing and 
I hope everyone's aware of this by now, but shops do a thing where I think they reduce their prices three times over the day, and by about seven o'clock in most supermarkets, everything's reduced their final price before it gets chucked in the bin. So you do get some really good bargains, Tesco's especially. Um, I also found the co-op. Co-op is quite pricey for a student if you don't find reductions, and the co-op by me gets some really good reductions at certain times. Obviously with the co-op though, it closes at 10 even on Sundays. Some supermarkets are different, some are the same. But yeah, you kind of have to figure out the times when they reduce stuff, put, get the yellow stickers, and a lot of the stuff you can freeze and stock up that way. And yeah, I also find they reduce a lot of cakes, you know, custard cream, all of that sort of stuff. And it's a nice treat when it's reduced as well. So you can't necessarily always afford those. Um, they're not a necessity so when they're reduced it's a nice nice treat to give yourself and yeah that's how I do it. Going on from that I know a lot of students shop at Aldi and Lidl. I'm not too clued up on Lidl but Aldi when they do reduce stuff it is 50% off so if you go at the right time you can get your veg, fruit and puddings that's usually the main stuff and sometimes bread. Um, at 50% off which is always great when it is already cheap anyway and you get it even cheaper. So yeah that is all my tips, obviously you're going to uni, enjoy yourself, spend a little but then also figure out ways to save. So yeah I hope that has been helpful, um, if you've got any tips yourself leave them in the comments down below and I will see you in a video very very soon. Bye guys. <laughs>